Hey, what's up YouTube? You're looking at the brand new Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. We already did an unboxing uh, video of this with all bells and whistles. If you want to check that out, you should check out the cards that should be flashing on my screen right now. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you what's inside the box. We have the 32 GB version, gold platinum color. Uh, there you see, that's the one. It also is available in black, silver and white. So that's the gold color and once you go here you have the sim tool there and then some of the paperwork like your SAR information your warranty card and then your quick start guide quickly going inside you have the micro USB 2.0 cable you have the 2 ampere adaptive fast charger and then the very premium in-ear earphones which has volume controls and extra pair of earbuds so that's about the content of the box really quickly coming back to the phone uh you would know why it's called the s6 edge plus because it has dual edge screen both on the both side as opposed to the galaxy note edge which for the first time came with an edge screen on the right side here and just like the s6 so it's only kind of an overgrown s6 edge uh, 5.7 inch as compared to the 5.1 inch. So you have that 5.7 inch Super AMOLED screen, 2K resolution, 5MP, very wide front camera, your notification LED lights and sensors and stuff there. Very popular Samsung home key, your back and recent keys are soft keys here. Uh, your separated volume rocker, 3.5mm jack, mouthpiece, micro USB 2.0 port, uh, very Apple-like speaker, power button and uh, secondary noise cancelling mic and space for the nano sim it does not take any micro sd card or other sim card sizes you have the 16 mp optical image stabilization camera there which is very good industry leading you have an led flash and some other sensors over there so uh samsung has changed the design and build quality radically starting the galaxy s6 and s6 edge plus carries that same legacy so you mostly have metal ring on the side is very nice polished matte finished aluminium ring on the side plus you have glass both on the front as well as on the black on the back uh, both are protected by gorilla glass 4 but they are very very glossy and is a fingerprint magnet at 153 grams well it's not the heavy, uh, lightest device in the market but it's not that heavy as well it's quite manageable but there's something to note about uh, the edge screen and the rim around here actually so because of the edge screen the rim uh, is very very thin and sometimes it's, it gets difficult to hold this device manage this device here specifically picking this device up from a flat surface now that's true for both the s6 edge and s6 edge plus the s6 edges was much more difficult to pick up because that had a thinner rim uh, samsung since made this rim slightly uh, broader so it's easier to hold the s6 edge plus but still uh, much more difficult than let's say someone like the note 5 so that's something to take note of but overall possibly the best looking device in the market right now the s6 edge plus the 2k super amulet screen is a treat to have and watch because the super amulet screen you have amazing viewing angle they say almost 180 degree 170 degree still the colors do not change they're amazing the icons at no point of time look pixelated and our color card also shows great color gamut actually uh, on the display so these are clearly differentiated all the color palettes the blacks are very very dark so all in all one of the best displays that i've seen in the market now this guy is powered by the latest android lollipop 5.1.1 and if you go here uh, sorry about that uh, if you go here 5.1.1 i'll quickly go ahead and check out the storage so this guy comes in variants of 32 gb and 64 gb it does not have micro sd card slot so that's all you get and i can see here 21.81 but you'll get uh, slightly over 24 gb because we have a lot of content media uh, stored there so we do not have any background apps running and out of 4 GB you still have only 1.7 GB so that's more than 50% of the RAM in work with all these background apps plus there would be also 
uh, some cached uh, apps running on the background as well so high amount of ram usage uh, even when the device is idle however because you have 4 gb of ram 1.7 gb of free ram is plenty so you have the usual google android apps you also have some third party apps like the microsoft apps there facebook and social apps like instagram messenger whatsapp so these are kind of bloatware but if you do not like them you can just go ahead and uh, you know disable them and so they are not going to go away from the rom but they're not going to eat your ram uh, and they will also disappear from this app drawer so that's a good thing to do away with all those you have your gallery as usual uh, the latest s health and something to show is obviously now we just rub it here and it will show you the time and this and also some uh, notification there uh, you can configure the edge screen both on this either on this side or on this side and even when the screen is on there's a small thing that comes up just pull it from there and now with the s6 edge plus you get uh, your favorite contacts as well as the favorite apps so now you can configure five apps or you can have five contacts although the edge skin is still not extensive in terms of functions as the galaxy note edge but still they have at least added one more function out there let's go ahead and check out the camera which is almost the same as the note 4 or the note 5 and s6 i wouldn't say note 4 although i don't know the sensor size and algorithm but it's very smooth And then you have the modes, uh, you have the pro modes where you can customize many of the things. Now one important, possibly the most important thing for me is that now you can save your images as raw files there you see. So Android Lollipop enables raw file capture but the manufacturer will have to activate it. Samsung did not activate it in S6. Here we have the raw file enabled. So I would always suggest you click a photo in raw file bit because then it captures all the exposures all the data uh, into file and does not um, leave it to the phone to process the picture and give out the jpeg so you can always go ahead and post process it to uh, have a jpeg according to how you want it you have the selective focus and video collage this is this is also something cool actually i'm just gonna go ahead and record this it only uh, accepts six seconds recording so that was first on the uh, left top and then for right top let's shoot this yeah and then again six seconds over then shoot this cool and then at last let's shoot this clip This feature is useful where you want to show multiple actions. There you see, so all of those are running at the same time. Cool. You also obviously have the live broadcast feature with which you can directly uh, record live and publish it to your YouTube. So as the camera is the same from S6 and S6 Edge, we do not have much to say about the image and a video quality of this. Uh, in short, this is the best camera in the market right now. And if we talk specifically of the S6 Edge Plus's camera, uh, very, very good detail and color reproductions under enough light. We do not see any decrease in sharpness uh, at the edges. That's great. And even under low light, um, the camera actually checks the noise pretty well. The flash is also great. There's one occasion where we applied the flash and it did not uh, you know washed out all the colors also even the auto function uh, you you will have some um, good depth of fill although the way the camera renders the out of focus areas is not very very smooth but overall uh, good enough very good quality pictures printable pictures both in enough light as well as under low light the videos are also very crisp and sharp from edge to edge so great camera
So you can see the speaker output is great. It's very loud. It also has adequate amount of bass and a relatively decent treble. But there's a problem here. The bass is not very deep. It's more kind of almost at the verge of crackling. It's more like a local band playing inside a room. Uh, you know what I mean when they play drum you hit that you uh, I mean you hear that very flat drum sound compared to when they're playing an open area uh, and obviously on a monitor The mid-range is slightly muddy as well. So overall, I would say if you want to hear it out loud with good amount of bass, then definitely use the speakers. But if you're an audiophile, if you actually want to hear all the notes, use the very premium earphones that came with this device. They are amazing. Not uh, very good in deep bass, but otherwise they are very good earphones. So you can listen to those. A very good surround sound as you can see. Nice 3D sound but the vocals at time getting overshadowed. Overall the user interface is mighty smooth, extremely smooth and user intuitive. At no point of time we felt any lag at all. That's flagship so obviously we did not expect any lag anyway. So then would you get the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus? It's, I, I was actually hard pressed to find any negatives on this phone apart from slight ergonomic issue here and slight crackling on the speaker sound. Apart from that, I think uh, for most part, this phone is just about perfect. If you do not want a big screen phone, that's another thing, but then still you have the S6 Edge. Uh, for people who love bigger phone, people who like to make a statement, this phone is amazing. And this phone also caters to one critical need that many flagship, uh, expensive flagship devices forget. That is, um, looking different from the crowd and being as a um, you know sh being a showstopper as a luxury item now what happens when you pay 50 60 thousand for a phone uh, you get slightly less quality of that in 25,000 and 30,000 as well. So why do you pay that premium? So it has to be something over the specification and the performance. That's something that you're prepared to pay a premium for, something beyond the specification. And that's what I think this guy gives. It's definitely the best looking device in the market, whether it's the most integratedly good device. Well, I would not say so. So it might not appeal to some users but yeah definitely one of the best devices in the market right now if you like these videos please hit the like button and ask anything related to this device and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love we'll also give some link to buy this device in the video description if you go through those link you do not pay anything extra but we get a very small percentage of commission often in single digit numbers like one percent or two percent etc but that will help us get going with these reviews thank you